round up from the World Telegram and Sun Scoreboard. First of all, in baseball, the Yankees beat the Athletics 2 to nothing. St. Louis Browns beat Washington 3 to nothing. Tonight, ba- there will be no baseball. was the only baseball game scored. The only game in the National League was the Dodgers and the Cardinals. The Dodgers won that game 35 to nothing. In the golf scores, Ben Hogan won the National Open Women's Golf Championship with a 18-hole score of 71. That's a new record for the Open Golf Championship. In the boxing world, Willie Pep beat Jake LaMotta last night, as you all know. And now, folks, we are going to bring our special broadcast from Russia. means hello, folks. Goodbye, folks. Many times you've seen me before in the movies. This is WMGM FM, New York. This is Gene Kelly. It was a pleasure to star with Lana Turner and George Murphy in the new picture, Flying Sailors. This is WMGM and WMGM FM in New York. Stay tuned for Brooklyn Dodger baseball. It's a home run. Folks, why can't the wins the ball game for the Dodgers? That was the quickest game on record. This is Jimmy Ferrer, your New York reporter, reporting from Hollywood. We have a few guest stars tonight we'd like you to meet. First is Peter Lurie. Uh, I was walking down the street the other day and I saw a man with a knife in his back. But don't get me wrong. I like people. Dead people. Next I have my friend, Jimmy Cagney. Where are you guys? Get out your guns. We're going to raise this bank. We're going to make it a worthwhile job. We're going to get 100 G's. Don't worry now. Gonna get hold of money. Here's Humphrey Bogart. All right, Jimmy. Come out of that bathroom. We'll come out clean. Ho, ho, that's a joke, son. Hey, Brother Boone, did you see the other day when I saw a man walking down the street? He wanted to know why do a chicken cross the road. Well, I'll tell you why a chicken do cross the road. A chicken cross the road to get to the other side. <laughs> oh, you eat shop tonight, boy. Yes, sir. Why do a uh, fireman wear red suspenders? You don't know? Oh, finally, where Red suspended to hold his pants up. <laughs> For the World Series between the Dodgers and the Yankees, and it's three to nothing in favor of the Yankees, and it's three to two the count now on Roy Campanella as he steps up. Dodgers losing three to nothing. Here's the pitch. And there it goes. It's a long drive going way, way out. And there goes Joe DiMaggio. Bagney jumps. He can't get it. It's a home run. Up and over the fence. And Campanella scores. The Dodgers win the first round. Three. And wild again. Beguiled again. A simpering, whimpering child again. Bewitched, bothered, and bewildered are you. Did you ever see the time bar when I saw my mother-in-law in her bloomers? Yes, you did. And you saw her, too. Oh, 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 I threw her out the window. Where are you, old bot? The Dodgers won the World Series, as you know. Boy, in the final game, Campanella hit a home run. Oh, yes, sir. Those Dodgers are certainly a good team. A wonderful team. A fine team. Oh, that team got fine. This is George Carlin in the Waldorf Astoria lobby. There's a lot of celebrities here tonight. <laughs> We're having a banquet for Hearst, for William Randolph Hearst Jr. And there's a lot of celebrities here uh, from the press, from radio, television, stage, screen, and everything. You know most of them. We're going to introduce one of them to you now. Here's New York's favorite daughter, currently appearing on television with her own show five nights a week. <laughs> she's making a personal appearance with her own movie. And she's in a few Broadway shows now, too. And she's making records for Decca. Here she is, Agnes Beery. Say a few words. <laughs> come over to my house, won't you? Come over to my house. Oh, come over and play. I've lots of playthings, a dolly or two. Come on to my house, come on to my house. I'm switching the mic now back to George Carlin, the MC of the Master of Ceremonies. Thanks very much, Agnes. We only have a few seconds to go, so we're going to have to sign off, have to sign off, have to sign off, have to sign off. George Carlin reporting the news at 6 o'clock. Tonight we have news from Russia that Joseph Stalin has died during the sleep last night. It is approximated that he died at about 2 p.m. He had died from a bad heart. Looks like we're going to win the war after all. A new bomb is called out called the XYZ bomb plus 258YZ estimental. It's a wonderful bomb, and it can blow up the whole world. Uh, we have a flash just now that came in from Washington. The Senator McCarthy is accusing President Truman of conspiring the United States. He says that President Truman has handed over secret documents about the atom bomb to Russians and Russian spies. We'll see what 
Senator McCarthy does about this when they're bringing him before the uh, Senate Investigating Committee tomorrow. We have another flash just in from Akron, Ohio, that a large rubber factory has blown up. 3,000 people have been killed and 14,000 have been injured. 12 firemen were overcome by smoke and all the fire engines in the United States went over there. It's, it's the, the end of the news at night, right now. Dedicated to my mother. For it was Mary, Mary, plain as any name can be, but with propriety, society, they say Mary. But it was Mary, Mary, long before the fashion came. And there is something there that sounds so square, it's a grand old name. Ruli ba ba kuk 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 ba 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 doo dee. Ee ba shabam kuk ma ba ba doo dee. Ee ba 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 dee. Ee ba ba kuk ba 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 doo dee. Ee ba 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 ba. Ee ba ba kuk ba 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 he blab die, ubli 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 cool ba. Station in New York. I have here a man who has never seen me before, and we're going to let him take the Philip Morris throat test. How was that Philip Morris cigarette to you? Well, I thought it was fine because it was mild and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Stigai Koopsnagel. And now we have a camel report. Over 35,000 doctors smoke camels. We had 50,000 doctors reviewed, interviewed, I mean. And uh, over 50,000, 35,000 were smoking camels. Here is Mr. J.R. Frensby, a farmer. I've been smoking Lucky's now on the 45 years now, and you tell me Lucky's are the mildest cigarette I ever smoked. And what's more, I smoke Chesterfield's too. We throw them all. Yes, I don't know. So if there's any other cigarette to make the statement you're about to hear. Oh, good cigarette, those cigarettes are. You want to smoke them things, they smell. Mm -hmm. 